Hey folks, hope you're having a good day. Thanks for checking in with us as always here at MyFoxHurricane.com. Some new information just in this morning. This is the updated outlook for the rest of the hurricane season from Colorado State University. If you remember a couple of months ago, right before the season started, they issued their first uh, 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 forecast. Uh, that was, of course, calling for 13 named storms, six hurricanes, and two major hurricanes by the end of the season. Now their update as of August 2nd, 12 named storms, five hurricanes and one major hurricane. They've tempered expectations just a bit. And keep in mind, these numbers include what we've already seen this year. That was three named storms and, of course, two hurricanes with Beryl and Chris. The real reason uh, that we're seeing this uh, tempered expectation has to do a lot with what's going on in the Atlantic right now. The waters across the central Atlantic, some of the coolest they've ever been at this point in the season. There are spots two to three degrees below normal. It doesn't sound like a lot, but it does make a huge difference when you have temperatures barely into the upper 70s. You need that warm water for tropical activity and you need light winds. And unfortunately there's, or fortunately, depending on how you look at it, there's a lot of wind shear across the southern or the central Atlantic and even across the Caribbean, not only right now, but forecasted for the next two or three months. So everything kind of points towards uh, less activity, really low activity for the next two or three months. It's something you got to keep an eye on though still because remember all it takes is one storm to make it a bad season. Nothing happening right now. A couple clusters of showers, a few clouds here and there, but nothing organized or really nothing that we're expecting to form for at least the next eh, five, six, seven days or so. We are heading into the heart of hurricane season of course. After August 1st, yesterday, we really start to ramp things up over the next five or six weeks as we head towards the peak of hurricane season on September 10th. As I said, it only takes one storm, so even if there's one storm the rest of the season and it hits us, it, it could be a bad year. So we've got to stay in tune with what's going on, but for now, hopeful that things are quiet for the rest of the season. As always, thanks for checking in with us. Have a good day.